Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist at Thanksgiving Point. Today, we're gonna unbox some of the coolest insects around, praying mantis. So growing up as a kid, I always loved finding praying mantis in my backyard, but the coolest praying mantis around come from exotic locations like Africa and Asia. Let's see what we've got. Oh. This is a flower mantis. These guys come from tropical forests in Asia. And honestly, they look more like a flower than they do an insect. Look at that guy. So unlike some other insects like katydids that use their camouflage to blend in and not get eaten, these guys have what's known as aggressive coloration. They want to not be seen so they can reach out and grab things to eat them. They have all these little things sticking off their body. It looks like flower petals and they sit there and wait. And when an insect comes up there to visit that flower, maybe we get a nice sip of nectar, they reach out and grab it in and bite down on it. So praying mantises are opportunistic predators. They will catch pretty much anything that they're able to kill that doesn't kill them. So that could be small insects. When this guy gets bigger, she'll get about three or four inches long. She could even catch, you know, lizards sometimes. They're pretty amazing predators. Let's put this guy back and see what else we've got. Go on in there. Whoop, whoop, don't you get out. Next, this is unbelievable. This is an amazing mantis from all over Africa called a ghost mantis, if I can get it open. Oh, come here. Look at that little guy. Now this is a juvenile, so she's gonna get bigger than this, but this is one of the smallest praying mantises around. It is unbelievable. The closer you look at these guys, the cooler they get. They sway in the wind as they walk to mask their movement, so they look more like a, just a dead stick or a twig breezing back and forth in the wind. So with over a million named species of insects, they come in all sorts of sizes and shapes, which means that a mantis like this, that'll never get more than two inches big, still has plenty to eat. This could catch small flies, any other little aphids, small things like that, that it could sneak up on and, and grab. So it might seem tiny to us, but holy moly, there's a whole world of insects out there that this guy could gobble up. Now these guys are just gonna sit in those forests, pretend to be a stick, and look for things to eat, but the way they don't get eaten themselves is to look like a dead leaf, and when they're first born, those tiny little hatchlings are jet black and they look like ants. Now we all know that we don't wanna mess with ants sometimes because they have stingers, so pretending to be an ant if you're itsy bitsy is a good way to defend yourself. Awesome, well, we have one more really cool mantis to check out. Let's put this one back and see what else we've got. Now this one is also a juvenile, but she is gonna get big. In fact, this is an Asian shield mantis or a giant, whoa, look at that dude, and she's fast. Look at that. Wow, she is aggressive. Look at her. They can get up to 12 centimeters long in the wild. So that bright green coloration is gonna be great camouflage for these guys because they live in tropical forests in Asia, particularly Malaysia, Borneo, Thailand. So like many of the insects we've been looking at, camouflage is their primary method of defense. But with those huge raptorial forelegs on this massive insect, when she gets big, she can give you a nice big pinch if she wants to. One of the weirdest thing about mantises, like many other insects, is the number of eyes they have. Mantids have five eyes. They have two compound eyes here, and they have three simple eyes called ocelli. And with a mantis that's this big, you can really get a good up close look at those five eyes. That's all the mantises we have for today. If you like the video, please like the video. Share it with your friends. I want as many people to learn about these cool bugs as we can. If you have a question about it, put it down in the comments. We'll see if we can get to it. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more awesome videos like this in the future. Thank you so much. See you next time.